Not all pictures or images come in pristine. There are always imperfections and things that need to be fixed. And one of the great tools for retouching photographs is actually the rubber stamp tool. Now, the rubber stamp tool is obviously one that's constantly abused. But if you use it subtly, as I've been pointing out throughout this entire lesson, it becomes a very powerful tool in your arsenal. Let's take a look at how we can use it. Open up the stamp JPG file located in your exercise folder. And when it opens, you'll see a bunch of autumn leaves on a branch. And if we take a look closely at the image, right in here, there's a little bit of an imperfection in this leaf that we would like to fix. So what you, first thing you want to do, just zoom in on the area that you want to work on. And in this case here, I'm just in a little bit too much. So I'm just going to zoom out a bit. There we go. And what I want to do is just sort of replace this little area in here. Now, the one thing you got to understand about working with the clone tool is that you can work with it in one of two ways. You can work with it directly on the image, which is sometimes regarded as destructive, or you can actually add it to a new layer. So let's take a look at both methods. First step in the process, select the rubber stamp tool in the tools panel. You can choose the size of the sample, the size of the edge, do you want to align it to the source? We usually do that. What opacity do you want? And how do you want the blend mode? And we'll just leave everything sort of where it is right now. And when you move on to the image, basically what you want to do is you want to say, look, I want to sample this area here. So you just click the mouse and there you go. You have fixed the area. And as you see, as the gun sight moves, the area under it moves into the circle. Okay, let's uh, zoom out. And it doesn't look too bad. Okay, I want you to revert. So just choose File, Revert. And this will just get rid of the changes. And this time, let's do it a little bit differently. Let's just assume that you looked at that sample and you said, no, that's not really working. I want to change it. Well, you find out that once you change this area, it's locked in. But there's another way of doing it. Go to the Layers panel. And you'll see that there is a bitmap layer. So select the bitmap layer and you come right down here in the layers panel to new bitmap image and just add it. Now, this is a blank bitmap sitting above this image. And what we're going to do is we're going to sample this area here, fill in this area here. But instead of going on top of the or replacing the pixels in the bitmap area, they're going to go into the sample area here. So let's just name that layer sample. Select the rubber stamp tool. And this time, instead of just sampling the source, we're going to use the entire document. And the cool thing about that is, is that you can sample this area here. And you can see that it goes there. And by choosing your sample, it shows up in its own document. And if I turn off the sample layer, the change disappears. So if you make a mistake, it's very easy to delete the change or edit it or do whatever else you need to do. So there's the use of the rubber stamp tool. You can use it to replace images if you so choose. That's fairly difficult. But if you use it as a photo retouching or an image retouching tool, its power really becomes evident to you. I showed you how to set the size of the brush, how to set the edges, what these two checkboxes mean, source aligned and entire document. And I also showed you two ways of using it. The first way is to just do it straight on the image, which sort of replaces pixels. Or if you are nervous about the changes you're making, how to create a sample and use the entire document.